maintenance crews from U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District and the Great Lakes and Ohio River Division Regional Rivers Repair Fleet began to dewater the main chamber of Wilson Lock in Florence, Alabama, March 23rd of 2022. The dewatering allows maintenance crews to inspect the chamber and conduct maintenance in dry conditions, ensuring the lock continues to provide safe passage for more than 2,500 government, commercial, and recreational vessels moving up and down the Tennessee River. The process of dewatering begins long before a single gallon of water is pumped out of the chamber. While the ideal schedule for dewatering is every three to five years, the planning process can begin two to three years in advance, ultimately prolonging the schedule. We started developing a strategy, started developing repair strategy for the gate and also looked at other components that need to be repaired at the same time. Once the chamber is empty, maintenance crews can make repairs to the miter gates, inspect the filling and emptying valves, and the rest of the components of the main chamber. While dewatering provides an opportunity for maintenance and engineer crews to inspect the lock during dry conditions, it also provides engineers with historical records of previous inspection findings for a comparison. This process, all I'm doing is inspecting documentation every day with pictures and reports uh, what's going on with the lock and our problems with it. So in the end, we can have historical record and a, uh, a review when we do other gates and this gate again on um, what has been done and what will need to be done. The dewatering inspection will conclude on April 28, 2022 and provide the Nashville District and Great Lakes and Ohio River Division insight on maintenance and repairs required in the future. This is Heather King reporting for the Nashville District at Wilson Lock.